One of the very versatile tools to use in Schoology is a page. To add a page, we're just going to click on Add Materials, Add a Page, and just title it. We have the formatting tools just like we do um, on all the other things that we can use with um, Schoology. We can align it to a standard. We can individually assign it. We can publish it or not publish it and display on a new play page. So I'm not actually going to create anything with this one, but I'm going to show you some of the things that I like to do. Um, this one, I embedded um, a PowerPoint slide. This happens to be the title pages that I was making for um, my videos. Um, but all I did was I got the embed code from Microsoft when I was in it. And when I created it, I click on this bottom button and I switch to the HTML and I fi find the iframe. Notice right here it says iframe and that's what I get and I put it into this. Once I click back on the top button, it just looks like I've inserted a video. And so then I've got this PowerPoint presentation. You could do the same thing with Google Slides. Um, this one happens to be a chart and I even just linked the assignment. So what I like to do here is I can make it in a page and I can copy and paste it. And then I can go into my updates and put it in there because it's much easier to create something that looks like this on a page and paste it than it is to directly create it in the updates. And then I just click on the little bell and then that ties it up to the top of that page. The other thing I really like to do is to add videos. So I'm going to go to that video that I like. I like Math Antics. I'm going to click on the share and I'm going to click on the embed. And I'm going to get that iframe. I'm going to copy it. Go back to Schoology. I'm going to click add materials. Add a page. I think it's adding and subtracting. I'm going to click on that bottom. Paste that iframe code again. Switch back to the visual. It looks like I've just added the video. And I'm going to display it in line. And then that means it's just displayed right here. And so students don't even have to go anywhere. They can just click that to play. The other thing I like doing is adding manipulatives. As a math teacher, this is wonderful. So if you go to the didax.com um, site, you can get the iframe codes to insert any of their um, manipulatives. This one happens to be the dice. And so if I can put dice out here and then I can even have them roll the dice. 